Well, guys, right on cue, Alyssa Mercante writes another article full of nonsense where she tries to paint everybody that goes against the woke narrative as grifters. She's saying that this was never about anything other than hate in regards to the backlash that Ubisoft is getting for both Star Wars Outlaws and Assassin's Creed Shadows, and she even includes Concord in here. So Alyssa Mercante, if you aren't aware, is a champion for diversity. Remember, she even said diversity happens naturally, and if you don't like it, fight me physically, bitch, and proceeded to call anybody that's anti-woke pussies that are too afraid to challenge her on anything. But keep in mind, this lady, and I use that term, loosely hides behind blocks hides behind protected tweets uses the excuse that she's a victim and that people are stalking her and obsessed with her meanwhile she's done everything from contacting wives she's done everything to encourage people to shut down websites and censor free speech and she continues to poke the bear daily with her insufferable actions and tweets she's defending i guess the dei that's behind ubisoft if you guys aren't aware they made a statement today or yesterday, and when you're watching this, I'm still recording it at the night of this, but they basically made a message to the Japanese community that was really tone deaf, in my opinion. It was one of the biggest non-apologies out there. They said a lot of stuff without saying it, but in short, too long, didn't read. They basically said this game is not supposed to be historically accurate. It's supposed to be historical fiction. They double down on why they're choosing Yasuke, and it's just a whole bunch of bullshit. We all know the truth why they chose Yasuke. And it's not because we're racist, like Alyssa Mercante would lead you to believe. In fact, she went off of it saying, maybe just say your racist response to a video game is indicative of moral decay. Get bent instead of this. So she didn't even like that Ubisoft, I guess, halfway bent the knee. She just went real vi uh, vitriol, venomous. venomous. I, I mean, I can't even fucking talk right now because trying to put any kind of logic in her venom venomous vitriol yeah there we go <laughs> tongue tied venomous vitriol her hatred like she calls people bigots she calls them hatred hateful dude she's she's the worst one out there what because you're upset with the dei being injected into assassin's creed shadows you're racist it goes way beyond just what she's trying to say here she's painting it that like you know that the responses on x to their I guess statement was exactly what you'd expect raises images slurs and calls for historical accuracy in a video game series that has always been seeped in science fiction, an unpublished community note, a feature frequently used by users to add context to posts reads assassin's creed. And she puts a slur right there. Well, you know what? This is the thing that they like to do. They like to paint, all the people complaining of this of, as racist. When you, if you remember, there's literally a petition out there with over ninety five thousand signatures on it from actual Japanese people that feel offended about the disrespect and lack of cultural, like I guess, accuracy, historical accuracy in regards to Assassin's Creed Shadows. These people are speaking up. This is going to the Japanese government. The Japanese diet will possibly look into this. It could be a diplomatic incident. We've been covering this daily. But of course, when it comes to DEI, Alyssa Mercante has to continue to write these articles and damage control. She did this with Sweet Baby Inc. When Sweet Baby Inc. Detected came out, she ran coverage for all those people. When Smash JT made his Kotaku Detected website, her and her friends, or her ilk as she likes to say, Tried to shut him down. They contacted his wife. They made this whole big hoopla about it. And now that this is going on with Assassin's Creed Shadow, she's running in interference, trying to say that everybody against this game is racist. She even compares it to, like, Gamergate 1 again. She can see that there's a fledging but ferociously loud group of gamers will tell you Assassin's Creed Shadow's backlash is about respecting Japanese culture or refusing to accept woke ideologies that are being forced into their games by consulting groups who hold no real power. Uh, yeah, they, they actually do because people like you, other journalists that are cosplaying as journalists but they're really political activists, uh, y'all like to shut down free speech. You literally have attacked websites in the past. You guys literally write hit pieces on people. You've tried to get information on Melanie Mack and Osmond Gold in the past. You guys have sent threats to Grums just because he's against your echo chamber. You guys get 
intimidated by people going against you. And that's why you have to always write all these damage controls, all these hit pieces, trying to make yourself seem like a victim. She goes and says that just like in 2014, during the first full-throated iteration of Gamergate, this was never about anything other than hate. Uh, again, you're calling a whole country having concerns about this legitimate concerns, feeling legitimately disrespected, you're calling it hateful. Are you still trying to say that despite 95,000 plus people, several Japanese people commenting on videos, I've literally had so many people from Japan comment on my channel than ever before, telling me how they feel disrespected, telling me about how Thomas Lockley's a fraud, that Yasuke wasn't a samurai. This is a very huge divisive topic that goes beyond just, oh, we don't like it because there's a black guy starring in the you know protagonist role. No, it goes beyond historical accuracy. It goes beyond architects. It goes stuff like One Piece Katana is being put in the game. Everything that they could do wrong with this game has happened solely because they chose to go the route of DEI. And of course you'd be all for this. Of course you'd be defending this because this goes for whatever thing that your sick, twisted, woke, progressive mind has. If you look at all of her tweets, guys, she's weird. She's insufferable. She's sick in the head. I mean, literally. I even talked and summed up this article saying, imagine being Alyssa Mercante, so tone deaf that you blame Japanese gamers' feelings on grifters, desperate to blame white men. And that's what it comes down to, guys. These guys hate gamers, especially white male gamers. Can't wait for her to run, to cry over the criticism on this damage control article. And that's that's it. And you can see they're getting trashed. Again, if you go to this thing, you see quarter and says, get woke, go broke. Master TDS says translation, we're wrong, but we don't want to change anything. Please still buy our game. Smash JT says, you guys just couldn't help putting a black guy in it and making him gay, could you? DEI propaganda at its finest. Tell us more about how everyone else is wrong but you. Because uh, <laughs> you can see Hypnotic saying, why are you always lying? Savvy R saying, everyone knows you what you lot were saying in interviews. Everyone saw how much you didn't care by mixing Asian architecture, not caring about seasons, still logos and art, using a one-piece cosplay store. I mean, she's just giving it to them. This is not hatred. It's, it's so weird that everything is labeled as hatred if it goes against the echo chamber. It's automatically racist. It's automatically a grift. Again, you got 95,000 plus Japanese signatures. People literally voicing their concerns about this game. And then you got this jackass over here writing this article saying, the internet is a powerful place, an in-between world in which imagery and rhetoric can be weaponized to such an extent it bleeds into real life. Right? She calls the original Gamergate uh, a misogynistic movement demanding ethics in game journalism. And that was the fact. There's still no ethics. Over a decade later, she goes on to talk about the Trump elections and how transgender people are in trouble and abortion and that people like to cause fear and, you know, outrage. She's saying <laughs> that, that there's always something to be up in arms about, right? I, I don't know what this has to do with gaming. Isn't Kotaku a video game website? Somehow she tries to call all of us rage baiters, grifters that were nothing without it. But isn't this what she's doing? She's literally rage baiting against the right wing people. I mean, look right here. She says the reactionary white right wing movement in gaming that has reared its ugly head yet again is no different. It's happening right now for a reason. Social cultural issues are reaching a fever pitch in election year. And just like 10 years ago, political ire is bleeding into popular culture where it has been seized upon by those looking to take advantage of naive, impressionable young men who are shunned in public, but lauded and even loved online. So that's the thing. They, they try to say that everybody that's against the woke narrative are socially awkward, lonely incels that can't think for themselves and, you know, grifters like Grums are brainwashing them. Isn't that kind of like what it seems like wokies do? They get all these big figureheads, these modern feminists that are preaching all this stuff about how to be be better, do better, be diverse. And they're putting all these buzzwords and bullshit about inclusivity and in people's heads to where it just essentially makes them all NPCs. 
I mean, they all look the same. They all have the stupid nose ring. They all have the fucking shitty haircuts, the prison tats. They all hate men. They all subscribe to this weird, weirdo fucking extreme logic of hating gamers and that if you're against them, you're a bigot. Doesn't it seem like that side's the one that's brainwashed? If anything, the guys that are not woke are normal. We're the ones questioning shit. We're the ones wanting st stuff not shoehorned in just to fucking have it. I mean, they, this train of thought literally has pissed off a whole country. Again, like I said, these people don't want this nonsense. I don't want this nonsense. It literally has ruined a game that was going to be potentially good mechanically-wise because now it's just tainted. It's, it's affected by all this nonsense. And then she goes on to say that there are countless studies and stories proving that the radicalization of male youth has been propped up and perpetrated by the Internet. So, of course, it's all against men, right? Go read them as they'll convince you far more effectively than I can. But what can I say, especially having faced his ire ceaselessly for months, ceaselessly for months. So she's making it about herself being a victim and oppressed. No, you get you get criticized because you're a public figure. You get criticized because you literally write bullshit like this and and guess what it's fair game she's basically saying just bad things look it's a special brand of hatred a sort of backwards logic boomerang careening through the air on its way back from progress since its inception gaming as a cultural space was largely dominated by white boys and men like why does she have to specify white boys can, can somebody tell me why she hates white boys and men so much that's all these people talk the same like that. It's so fucking wild. It's so wild that, you know, she has to write about this and, and say that that's why people are upset about Assassin's Creed shadows. And, and, and honestly, reading this article, it's just absolute nuts. Like, how can anyone even think that this woman is remotely right in what she's saying? And she's, she's, allowed to have her own opinion but to sit down and be like oh man this train of thought is absolutely the right way to go to be to to call people hateful but then say bullshit like so this week it wasn't it was assassin's creed shadows before that it was a content warning added to a capcom game before that it was the perceived failure of flintlock before that it was a female lead in a star wars game not being hot enough before that it was a black lead in star wars show merely existing before that it was the way characters in concord looked before that it was a trans voice actor in final fantasy expansion before that see she just listened down like is it not wrong for people to be upset and and to criticize stuff you can see she's just upset about it. She goes, all of this manufactured raid has been rammed down the throats of impressionable young people in just the last 45 days alone. Um, what do you think diversity in DEI does? Do you think Sweet Baby Inc. And, and all this woke shit is not being rammed down people's fucking throats? That That's the only thing allowed rammed down the throat? I, I don't get it. it it's, it's so fucking wild. That she's basically just negating legit criticism and backlash about something. And it's not even white people. She's trying to say it's white people. She's trying to say it's grifters, but it's actual people from Japan. If you go to the videos on YouTube of these trailers for these video games, people are upset. And rightfully so. And nobody's fucking just leaving it as hateful stuff. People are actually giving legitimate concerns. Read these comments. Read all of this. Don't let your wokeness blind you, Alyssa. Don't, don't quit writing stupid bullshit to try to push your narrative. She tried to claim that without this hatred, we would have nothing. No, without this hatred that you're writing about, you would have nothing. We're just merely responding to you. It's, it's so fucking cringe to read what she has to say. And I've seen people, oh, but you're the one that's obsessed. You're the one that's obsessed. No, people are not free from criticism, all right? People are not free of consequence from their free speech either or of consequence of stuff that they choose to do. And when you're clearly rage baiting, trying to get people to be upset, and I know oh, you're the one upset crying about No, I'm. I'm literally giving my opinion on this. Did you know this lady 
and I use that term loosely, had the fucking nerve to post one of the most ridiculous things that I screenshotted. And I'm going to post it right now in regards to the United States election. The United States election. She flat out said that I'm sorry, but if you make your entire personality complaining about video games or movies and the people depicted in them, then you should probably not be allowed to vote. I don't know. Again, saying that people don't have the right to their own opinion or free speech and somehow she's tying it into video games. I have no idea how that goes. <laughs> but I put Alyssa Mercante has spoken, everyone. She's she's the she's the authority, right? If you're not in with the diversity thing, you're a racist bigot and you don't deserve rights or opinion at all. Over video games. So fucking weird. I swear to God, she's weird. And then, you know, it's so fucking wild. She even attacked M- M- Melanie Mack the other day. Doesn't have the balls to tag her. Hiding behind a block. Uh, as always, she put the pick me readings are off the charts. These numbers can't be right. In regards to her saying uh, something about voting because she has to vote against a woman, right? So I put Alyssa Mercante con anyone pick me. It's hilarious when her terrible take scream woke edgelord. Melanie Mack stays based and real, unlike Alyssa. Zero self-awareness. Does she even read her own articles and tweets? And evidently, no. She doesn't read her own shit. Or she would see that she just spews a whole bunch of nonsense. So, yeah, I can't wait for her and her ilk to be like, oh, this guy's obsessed. This guy's rage baiting. This guy's obsessed. He's secretly wanking over her and stuff like that. No, I'm sorry. I, I call it like I see it. I call a spade a spade. Shit article. <laughs> Shit take. Uh, completely wrong about the backlash in regards to Assassin's Creed Shadows. It goes beyond just hate. It goes beyond that. It's It's about... A country feeling disrespected. It's about Ubisoft worrying about DEI efforts instead of actually making good video games to entertain people. When with you, it's never about anything with diversity. And in all honesty, Alyssa Mercante, I think you don't give a fuck about diversity. I think you don't give a fuck about progressiveness. I think you just want to be able to spew stuff against men. White men at that. I think every single thing that you do in your life day to day is about hating men. And that's all you're fucking about. And it's poisoned you. It's made you into an insufferable human being. And it's it's a fucking train wreck. And that's why I can't stop fucking criticizing you. It's literally like all you have in life. And you're the one that wants to say that people that are complaining about video games shouldn't vote and people are hateful and that they're lonely, weird, awkward men, white men that, you know, have this rage built in them. What do you have? What what do you have other than, oh, I have to feel like I'm contributing in something because I'm a modern feminist and I'm I'm taking on Gamergate. You have nothing, nothing. And it's wild that whatever little bit of clout you have in the world of gaming journalism is there. And the only reason why it's really there is because you, all of your ilk, everybody that you work with, everybody that you're allied with, you guys are all woke people. I've literally had so many woke progressive journals. I'm going to blacklist you because you're hateful. I'm going to remove you from PR list. That's all you guys do. Just like the original Gamergate, there's a lack of ethics in all of y'all's journalism. And all of y'all's efforts goes down to community managers, goes down to developers. It goes down to these consulting firms. It goes down to you. All of you guys have no place in the gaming industry because you have zero fucking ethics. And that's what the problem is.